Hi, David. If it feels like we've been stuck at that 95 percent figure for a while or the president's lead of about 76,000 votes or one and a half percent, well, it's because we are stuck there and we likely will be uh, for some time to come, as you can see. Uh, so if that is still the case, if the presidency has not been decided elsewhere by next week at this time, the 15 electoral votes here become huge. And this is the big variable, 116,200 absentee ballots that are still outstanding have not been returned. That number is going to come down a bit as the next as the days go on and as more of those ballots are returned. But they will not be counted for the most part until next week at this time. Regardless of vote differentials, we never stop counting until all eligible votes are counted and added to the final certified and audited results. So where do those absentee ballots come from? Well, they are in the state's biggest counties, including Wake County, where I am. That's Joe Biden country, as you can see, and Mecklenburg County. That is Charlotte. And uh, there, Biden took uh, about two-thirds of the vote. So that, there you can see that's why this race is going to be too close to call uh, for some time to come un until those votes are counted. They are counted at the county level. Each county election board counts them up, and those, those meetings are set. And so they will, not be, uh, they will not go to the state until a week from now. And remember, in North Carolina... They are accepting absentee ballots that arrive as late as next Thursday, the 12th, as long as they are postmarked by Election Day. And, and Carl, this same dynamic applies to the U.S. Senate race in this state, although Tom Tillis, the incumbent, has a little bigger of a lead over his Democratic challenger, Cal Cunningham. Yeah, it's been interesting to watch uh, some of the Senate candidates' performance relative to the top of the tickets. Uh, Scott, another fascinating look at the changing face of the country. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.